This is John Fauber, and this is a special report from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel and MedPage Today. This report deals with physicians at major academic centers in the United States, as well as with a leading maker of medical devices. But a crucial element of the story is Tomislav Smoljanovic, an orthopedic surgeon from Croatia who has raised questions about the safety of a biological agent and who has refused to be dissuaded by either power or prestige. Doctor, I, let me just first of all ask you a little bit about your, um, your practice in, uh, in Zagreb. Uh, what kinds of patients do you see? What kind of uh, surgeries do you do? Well, I'm uh, an employee of the uh, Department of Orthopedic Surgery here at the University uh, Hospital Center Zagreb and the School of Medicine Zagreb University. Uh, this is the oldest orthopedic surgery department in Croatia. We have been founded uh, more than 100 years ago. Uh, we deal with all kinds of pathology within the orthopedic surgery. Me personally, I usually mostly perform uh, operations on lower limbs meaning the total hip and knees arthroplasties, arthroscopies, and other procedures. And uh, occasionally I do procedures on upper limbs. Personally, I do not uh, perform spinal surgeries, but some of my coll colleagues do that as well. So how did you get interested in this uh, product, which is uh, known as bone morphogenetic protein 2 or Infuse? Uh, how did you get interested in, in it, and how did you, uh, uh, why did you start trying to create uh, awareness about uh, serious side effects with the product? Uh, back in summer of 2006, uh, when I was a young resident at this department, uh, my mentor, he gave me a task to analyze uh, published articles related to clinical use of bone morphogenetic proteins. Uh, then I performed a thorough review of the literature and uh, I have observed that some adverse effects of that, de that device, bone morphogenetic protein 2 in particular, occur in spinal interbody fusions based on the way how the device was applied to spinal surgery uh, during the surgery. And uh, I approached to my other mentor, who was my mentor for bone morphogenetic protein, but at the time he told me that my findings were irrelevant. So, uh, because uh, he told me so, and I was very young, uh, I didn't continue at that, at, at that time in that research. But uh, later, when I succeeded to change the thesis of my PhD, uh, I, I made my PhD on roving injuries. Uh, we did one uh, big research about roving injuries among international level rovers. And then I, I was able to continue my further research in the area of adverse effects of bone morphogenetic proteins without any supervision. And uh, we have found out that uh, several adverse effects were uh, at least uh, ignored uh, in some uh, published papers. That, yeah, and I, I want to ask you about that because the one that the uh, Stanford researchers are publishing about now uh, is, a, uh, is a, a serious side effect that causes sterility in men. And you have been trying to get uh, a couple of the uh, leading journals, medical journals in the United States to uh, uh, publish letters that you've written about this, raising concerns. And I think, uh, let, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think what you're saying is that the data that was submitted to the FDA about uh, this product, BMP2 or Infuse, uh, showed that there was a higher rate of this particular side effect, which is known as retrograde ejaculation. Uh, and but that when the when when the doctors who did the study got around to writing published articles about the product, they never mentioned that the that BMP2 or Infuse was linked to this uh, side effect that causes sterility in their in their published research. Is that correct? Uh, you are completely right. Uh, retrograde ejaculation is one serious uh, side effect of a bone of a genetic protein used during anterior lumbar interbody fusion. EA during the labeled use of uh, infused bone graft. Uh, in uh, papers published uh, uh, from that seminal study, which gained the FDA approval for the device, there is no correlation between uh, bone morphogenetic protein and uh, that serious adverse effects, which cause sterility in male patients. Uh, it is interesting that uh, 
each item provided in uh, that studies, uh, each item which was out uh, analyzed was compared between investigational and control group. Only retrograde ejaculation was not compared between those two groups. And that, that was something that drew our attention and uh, which then uh, uh, put us in uh, research of FDA data. And we found out in FDA data, the data that has not been published in medical professional literature, that uh, from that study, 13 patients, 13 male patients had retrograde ejaculation, and only 12 of them, uh, and 12 of them were from BMP group, and only one was from the control group. Uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you about is that you have an interesting career. Uh, prior to becoming an orthopedic surgeon, you were a world-class rower. If I'm not mistaken, uh, I think you won a, uh, a bronze medal at the uh, 2000 Sydney Olympics. Uh, is that correct? And and uh, in the uh, in a team rowing event, um, and uh, I just wonder if you could talk a little about your rowing career, and also, you know, it, you see, you've seem to have shown a lot of tenacity, a lot of uh, willing uh, willingness to stick with this quest that you've had to alert doctors about the potential side effects from this product, and uh, this product, and I'm just wondering whether that kind of uh, dedication and determination is something that you also needed to be a world-class rower. Well, anybody who, who is involved in rowing or has, who has ever been involved in rowing knows that rowing is very, is very strenuous activity and that the rower has to be very persistent and very reliable and that the rowers have to pass through huge pain during the last 500 meters of the race. And in those, kind, in those situations, uh, a person really build up uh, his own character. And uh, rowers are known by the fact that they don't, uh, they don't uh, leave unfinished jobs. Uh, I had uh, hundreds of races, and some of them were really hard and very painful, but I have never ever stopped before the end of race. So I, I'm used to, to finish my jobs when I start to do that. And uh, when I started to analyze this literature, and when I find the irregularities, I decided to clear them to the end. So I think that we are in good way to clear all irregularities related to the use of infused bone graft. Great. Well, listen, doctor, thank you very much for your time, and uh, good luck in your uh, future research endeavors. Thank you very much for your invitation. Okay, great. Thanks.